bringing us about. The Holy Spirit calls us together as people of God. Please rise for Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, the fountain of living water, the rock who gave us birth, our light and our salvation. Amen. Joined to Christ in the waters of baptism, we are clothed with God's mercy and forgiveness. Let us give thanks for the gift of baptism. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning your spirit moved over the waters, calling forth light, in which you took to life. From the waters of the flood you delivered Noah and his family. Through the sea you led your people Israel from slavery into freedom. At the river, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. By water and your word, you claim us as daughters and sons, making us heirs of your promise and servants of all. We praise you for the gift of water that sustains life. And above all, we praise you for the gift of new life in Jesus the Christ. Shower us with your spirit and renew our lives with your forgiveness, grace, and love. To you be honor and praise through Jesus the Christ our Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. The grace of our Lord Jesus the Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also.
Bountiful God, you gather your people into your realm and you promise us food from the tree of life. Nourish us with your word that empowered by your spirit, we may love one another and the world you have made. Through Jesus the Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. God speaks to us in scripture reading, preaching and song. A reading from Acts. During the night, Paul had a vision. There stood a man of Macedonia pleading with him and saying, 
come over to Macedonia and help us. When he had seen the vision, we immediately tried to cross over to Macedonia, being convinced that God had called us to proclaim the good news to them. We set sail from Troas and took a straight course to Samothrace the following day to Neapolis and from there to Philippi, which is a leading city of the district of Macedonia and a Roman colony. We remained in this city for some days. On the Sabbath day, we went outside the gate by the river where we supposed there was a place of prayer and we sat down and spoke to the women who had got gathered there. A certain woman named Lydia, a worshiper of God, was listening to us. She was from the city of Thyatira and a dealer in purple cloth. The Lord opened her heart to listen eagerly to what was said by Paul. When she and her household were baptized, she urged us, saying, If you have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she pre prevailed upon us. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. May God be merciful to us and bless us. May the light of God's face shine upon us. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you judge the peoples with equity and guide all the nations on earth. Let the nations be glad and sing for Peoples praise you, O oh God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has brought for its increase. God, our own God, has blessed us. May God give us blessings. And may all the ends of the earth stand in awe. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. A reading from Revelation. And in the spirit, one of the angels carried me to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. I saw no temple in the city, for its temple is the Lord God, the Almighty and the Lamb. And the city has no need of sun or moon to shine on it, for the glory of God is its light and its lamp is the lamb. The nations will walk by its light, and the kings of the earth will bring their glory into it. Its gates will never be shut by day, and there will be no more night there. People will bring into it the glory and the honor of the nations, but nothing unclean will enter it, nor anyone who practices abomination or falsehood, but only those who are written in the Lamb's book of life. 
Then the angel showed me the river of the water of life, bright as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb through the middle of the street of the city. On either side of the river is the tree of life with its 12 kinds of fruit, producing its fruit each month, and the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. Nothing accursed will be found there anymore, but the throne of God and the Lamb and of the Lamb will be in it, and his servants will worship him. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads. And there will be no more night. They need no light of lamp or sun, for the Lord God will be their light and they will reign forever and ever. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Jesus the Christ, according to St. John. Lord, Glory to you, Lord. to you, O Lord. Jesus answered Judas, not Iscariot, Those who love me will keep my word, and my Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, and the word that you hear is not mine, but from the Father who sent me. I have said these things to you while I am still with you, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. Peace. I leave with you my peace, I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away and I am coming to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, because the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before, before it occurs, so that when it does occur, you may believe. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Dear hearers of God's word, grace and peace to you from God, our Creator, and our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. I like Lydia. I like Lydia because this is a person who, according to tradition, had no right to have money because her community wouldn't allow her to have money because she was a woman. Oh, no. Here comes Lydia who sells purple cloth. 
Here comes Lydia, who believes that the power of God had touched her life, and she believed in the risen Christ. I like Lydia, because not only did she know who Jesus was, she knew it was okay. And she knew how important it was because when Paul came to the town where she lived, he said, oh, come on, stay with me. Stay here. And you know what? They did. And guess what? They weren't supposed to. And once again, the gospel breaks through. I love you, says Jesus. I love you. The rules get broken. I tell Lois all the time that sometimes the Holy Spirit, the advocate, is a real pain. Because it means things change. Over and over and over again. Things aren't perfect in our world. Partially because we're in it. But God says to us through Christ over and over again, the Spirit's going to come and change your world and change your understanding and change you. When I was first out of seminary, I was sort of surprised about how things were going. And my bishop at the time said to me, oh, you're going to go over there. It was a little town of 150 people. Yeah. Okay. Um, that sort of sounds okay. So I took the call. And within a very few months, I realized that my bishop that congregation and I were not a good match. That would have been a nice way of putting it. You ever have somebody where all you do is start hitting head on? Yeah? I had a teacher like that when I was in high school too. No matter what she said, no matter how right I knew her to be, she and I bumped heads. Boy, did we bump heads. And so when that happened to me in that first call, I remember the phrase, the advocate is going to teach you. And I'm going, OK, what are you trying to teach me now? What am I supposed to do now? Where am I supposed to go now? By the way, that's how I ended up here in New York. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, it's a thing that the Holy Spirit did. And it's a good thing in that we re rejoice, we understand that peace does not mean that you sit here and don't move. Peace does not mean that you sit on your thumb, and my thumbs aren't big enough to sit on, that you just sit here and do nothing. Peace. Now I gotta get back up. Peace means that you are able to move into the world and be as a child of God to change the world. Even when we have technology that doesn't want to work with us. 
it me? I'm not sure, so let's, let's find <laughs> out. Let's see if this one works. Turn, that, oh, turn no. that one off for a second. Let's test it out. Oh, it's on. This one definitely works. Check. <laughs> and you know, I don't know keep some... Keep it on. Keep it on. Oh. It's already out. Okay. <laughs> so let's try the other one. And this one I have to actually stick in my pocket. It doesn't have a clip. It's all right. And the wonderful thing about having the peace of God is to recognize that things don't have to be perfect. Pardon me while I... S You know, perhaps that's the best thing about technology, is it reminds us that we're not perfect. That's why I like Lydia. Here's this woman who has the ability to make purple cloth. This woman who's doing stuff that she wasn't supposed to do. And then she does something even more. She invites Paul and Timothy and Luke to come to her house and stay with her. Anybody in the church that says that women aren't important, and I heard one person, a pastor, I don't, I use the term pastor advisedly for this individual because he sounded anything but pastoral, was saying that women were supposed to be sitting in the pew quietly. I'd like to hear an, oh no. Not here. Not here. <laughs> here. Not here. here. And our example is Lydia. A purple cloth dyer, a rich woman who gave power to Paul and Timothy and Luke. I suspect that Lydia's life wasn't terribly peaceful because probably everyone around her kept saying, you're not supposed to do that. But she has the example of the love of Christ, the power of God that let her live her life untroubled. Let the Holy Spirit guide her and encourage her to understand the love of God. This coming Thursday is Ascension Day in the, in the calendar of the church. 10.30 here. <laughs> and we remember that physically Jesus went away. But reminds us that by water and the word we are joined with him. By the promise of his leaving us so that he might come back and take us home. We gather together. And we gather with Lydia and Paul. We gather in this week and remember Nicholas Copernicus and Leonard Euler, who at one point the church condemned. And you know why? They challenged those who refused to hear the advocate talk. 
You're bad people. You're challenging us as intellectuals. Except that's what they were, is intellectuals. And why were they able to challenge the intellectuals? The Holy Spirit. The Advocate. So if you want somebody to remind you what kind of peace God gives, we've got Nicholas Copernicus, Leonard Euler, Paul, Timothy, Luke, and not least of all, Lydia. Oh, come on. We can have a little more enthusiasm Lydia. here. Lydia. Lydia. And within all of that, we have the Holy Spirit who leads us on our way and guides us and reminds us of the love of God. Reminds us. The Spirit speaks to us still, even now. And for that, may the church proclaim Amen. Amen. Amen.
together in trust and hope, we confess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe, I believe in Jesus Christ, Christ God's only 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 son, God's only Son, our Lord, who was, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Spirit born, born of the Virgin Mary, Mary, Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to death. I believe he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Set free from captivity to sin and death, we pray to the God of resurrection for the church, people in need, and all of creation. God of new life, Open your church to the unexpected ways your spirit is at work. Guide bishops, pastors, deacons, and lay leaders in their visioning, partnership, and planning. Surround us with your purse, peace. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our prayer. Give a vision of increase and abundant harvest for farmers, laborers, and gardeners who are beginning their growing season. Join your efforts with the goodness of creation to feed all living things. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Join your light of wisdom and peace among nations. When those in power seek to assert dominance over others, confound their ways and make them yield to your humble authority. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Hear our prayer. Give safe haven to those who seek healing, liberation, or peace, especially Aaron and Karen, the New England family. family. Linda, Linda, Karen, Carol, Dorothy, Jurgen, Annie, and David, David Stanley, Gladys, Gladys, Sally, Sally, Sally Ken, 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 Catherine, Catherine George, George, Carol, Carol Christine, Christine, Maria, Maria Laura, Don, Carol. Carol. Elsie and Fred, Cesar, Celeste, Margaret, Margaret, Donna, Jean, Jean. Teresa, Vera, Vera. Stephen, John, John and Martin, Martin, Hillary. Hillary. George, George, Drew, Drew. all oh, that family, Jane, Jane, Jane. Elsie. 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 Elsie, Robbie, Robbie. Eleanor, Eleanor. Marjorie. Marjorie, Churchill, Churchill. Anna. Anna. Anna, Scott and family. family. Yay places fit. Filled with hospitality, where hurting people find your loving presence and wholeness. God, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. You ask us to care for those who support and envision your world among us, especially A. 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 Bishop Paul, Synodical Deacons. Lois, Masayo, Pastor Don. Don. God, in your mercy, hear our no. prayer. 
uphold the work of ministries and organizations in our communities who assist people experiencing homelessness, citizens returning from prison, and all marginalized people. Accomplish your will through their efforts. God, in your mercy, hear our yeah, prayer. prayer. Assemble your people at rivers, streams, and ponds, where we remember our baptism and welcome others into the communion of saints. Gather us with those who have died, especially Nicholas, Nicholas Copernicus, Copernicus, Leonard, Leonard Nero, John, John Calvin, 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 Bill, 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 Bill Susumo, Jarian, Mildred, Mary Ann, Matthew, Matthew, Matthew Chris, Chris, John, John Hertha, Archbishop Desmond, Jamie, Jamie, Jamie Ann, Ann, Estelle, Estelle Ray, Ray, Egan, Egan Stanley, Stanley, Ann, Ann Erna, 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 Patricia, Patricia Margaret, Margaret Bob, Bob, Bob Selena, Lois. And the ten people who murdered and the ten people murdered in Buffalo when we meet together at the river of life. God, in your mercy. Yeah. 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 Our prayer. As your son died for us. We remember these who gave their lives that others might have life and freedom. Darren, Darren Johanny, Johanny, Nicole, Nicole Hunter, Hunter, Humberto, Humberto David, David, Jared, Jared Riley, Riley, Dylan, Dylan Karim, Aaron, Maxton, Maxton, Ryan. Ryan. Jason, Jason, Milbert, Timmy, Timmy. Timmy. God, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We ask of our God this day. We continue to pray for peace in Ethiopia, Tigray, Eritrea, and the Ukraine. And we especially pray for the refugees from the Ukraine for Haiti as it continues to struggle to find peace and stability and healing of their land, for Afghanistan as the people and the land seek your grace, for the drought in the Great Plains and in the Southwest and in California, and the fires that burn intermittently and suddenly throughout our land and the world, we pray for the flooding or the healing from flooded lands in Sudan and South Africa, for the conversion of those who do harm to others and themselves, especially those who are hate, anger-filled, alienated, fear-filled, and power-hungry, and that each of us might live and function in the bodies we have been given to the glory of God, like Lydia. And that all the people of Abraham, Jews, Christians, and Muslims may walk in faith as Jesus walked. What else do we ask of our God this day? We give thanks for the youngsters in our congregation who are graduating or have graduated and their beloved parents, Jeff. <laughs> In your mercy, O oh God, respond to these prayers and renew us by your life-giving spirit. Through Jesus the Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. 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 And may the peace of Christ be with you always and remember it in the Thanks.
be to God. And you may share that peace, peace. as you are comfortable peace. with. Peace.
We praise you for creating the heavens and the earth. We bless you for bringing Noah and his family through the waters of the flood, for freeing our people Israel from the bonds of slavery, and for sending your Son to be our Redeemer. We give you thanks for Jesus who, living among us, healed the sick, fed the hungry, and with a love stronger than death, gave his life for others. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again after supper, he took the cup. Gave thanks. And gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of Remembering, therefore, his life-giving death and glorious resurrection, we await your promised life for all this dying world. Breathe your spirit on us and on this bread and cup. Carry us in your arms from death to life, that we may live as your chosen ones, clothed in the righteousness of Christ. Through him, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, with the Holy Spirit, in your holy church, both now and forever. Amen. Amen. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Christ dwells with us here. All who are hungry, all who are thirsty, are welcome.
it is declared this is the body of Christ, the bread of heaven, given for you. Receive him in faith. Amen. 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 It is so. It is so. United with the whole church on earth and in heaven. It is declared, this is the blood of Christ, the cup of salvation, given for you for the forgiveness of sin. Receive him in faith. Amen. 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 It is so.
May the holy and precious body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ strengthen you to do his will now into eternal life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. We give you thanks, generous God, for this bread and cup. We have tasted the new heaven and earth where hunger and thirst are no more. Send us from this table as witnesses to the resurrection, that through our lives all may know life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. As God has blessed us and sends us forth into a mission into the world, we pray for those who proclaim God's love and those who have received this day. Gracious God, loving all your family with a mother's tender car, car, care, as you sent the angel to feed Elijah with heavenly bread, assist those who set forth to share your word and sacrament with those who are sick, homebound, and in prison. In your love and care, nourish and strengthen those who will receive and have received this sacrament, and give us all the comfort of your abiding presence through the body and blood of your Son, Jesus the Christ, our Lord. Amen. As we have been strengthened and we have been blessed, here's some opportunities to serve. everyone here in the sanctuary, family and friends and visitors and not visitors because some folk have been here before. And so on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. we have our uh, virtual coffee hour still where we catch up on what's going on with each other and update each other about what's going on in the community. 10.30 a.m. Our service begins here in the sanctuary and our family and friends on Zoom. Hi there. Our prayer and conversation continues Monday through Friday, 12.15 to 12.45-ish. Our Bible study on Wednesday evenings at 7 p.m. You are in the book of Titus. And on Thursday mornings at 10.30 a.m., we are in the book of Hebrews. Come, join us as you are able. Sunday school, uh, today was the last day until September. Our Sunday school teacher, uh, Miss Doris and, and Dorothy, was here this morning. And then we have our kids again who are on Zoom. Our AA ministry continues on our campus on Mondays and Wednesdays at 10.30 a.m. a.m. for open discussions, Tuesdays for beginners, and Thursdays step meeting at 7.30 p.m. This is a wonderful healing ministry. Continue your prayers for them. Our Boy Scouts, Cub Scouts uh, had their final jamboree before the summer begins uh, last Friday evening. And our Girl Scouts also meet on Friday evenings in our parish hall. Ascension Day service will be held on Thursday, 10.30 a.m. Badash Park will hold their annual Strawberry Festival on Wednesday, June 1st at 1.30 p.m. The day of Pentecost service will be held on June 5th at 10.30 a.m. And wear bright yellow and red. Bright, bright yellow and red. Look like a fire. Yes. 
Church Women United will meet on Friday, June 10th at 12 noon, along with the Trinity Women. We had a very good time last month, and so we would like to continue that. Prayers for Peace, uh, and that will be led by Pastor Mill Holland of Trinity Long Island City on Sunday, June 12th at 5 p.m. in Astoria Heights Playground. That's 30th Road and 46th Street. Um, Pastor Mill Holland has reached out to uh, all denominations to join in the prayer and gathering for peace on that day. Our worship committee will meet on, not on June 14th, Pastor, because so, you're not going to be here. I'm not going to be here. You're going to be in Peru. <laughs> so we're going to meet on June 7th at 7 p.m. via Zoom. Quilts will not meet in May, but will meet again on June 17th at 10 a.m. And Synodical Deacon Ingrid is here because the Senate Diaconia graduation will be held on June 11th at 2 p.m. So Trinity Middle Village, that's us, will be hosting that event. Our hymn sing service, SIS, will be held on June 12th and 19th because, again, Pastor will be in Peru. So we will have the opportunity to lift our voices in, in song. Bible study um, will be suspended on June 14th and 15th. Volunteers, thank you, thank you, thank you, our Elagon family in Connecticut. So you see, you can read here in the sanctuary, you can read on Zoom. Volunteers are needed. June is open. Next Sunday, um, Su Ming has volunteered to read. So June, let us know if you are available to read so we can get the readings to you. Volunteers are also needed to assist with the Eucharist, inside, outside, ushers, and to deliver communion to those who are unable to attend service. Two teachers needed for the Kibeta English Medium Primary School in Tanzania. And we are still open to discuss a flea market. And I might add that there was a message on our voicemail here at the church saying, when are you going to do your flea market rummage sale? Somebody in the community is interested. Are we going to think about it? It's, it's a, a job, job and a half. Um, well, they happen to give me their phone number, so we'll probably call them and ask them if they want to run it. We thank you for your support for ministry this week, whether your attendance is here in the sanctuary or on Zoom. Church is open and we are renewing it. Yes, moving along. And again, that financial support is always needed. Um, we have salaries, insurance, utilities, repairs, all those things. And donations can be made on trinitymiddlevillage.org by clicking the donate button. The take something, give something hygiene box. And it says hygiene, but this morning, Doris and I saw stuff other than hygiene that was left. No, it was all good. I mean, it was easy, all this bags and clothes and black bags. Yes. And, and our Dropbox is being uh, utilized by the community and picked up twice a week because now we have a bigger box. So uh, support, the community is definitely using what is here at Trinity.
boiler repair, replacement, we still need to replenish that. Our future ministry project, we received a very generous gift, uh, which has made, enabled us to make our website more secure. And this will enable us to communicate better to the world at large. Stacy's Pantry, operated by uh, Pastor Montabani of St. Jacobus Lutheran Church. Still, people need to eat. So St. Jacobus is filling that need. Our Western Queens Conference Zoom prayer meeting still meets on Wednesday evenings at 7 p.m. Trinity Long Island City has a Monday evening gathering at 8 p.m. Bible study at Grace Lutheran on Tuesdays at 7.30. And Donna from Grace Lutheran is graduating, will be one of the diaconia graduates, so we will be here to support. And Women Together in Grace uh, will be meeting on May 19th. That was last week. So our next meeting will be June 2nd. And Synodical Deacon Ingrid Compton is here and her daily prayer line for the early risers, Monday through Friday at 6 a.m. Ingrid, just make sure that we have the correct information for you. There was a, a question about that. Just before you leave, before you leave. So I think that's any other announcements that we need to share? Community, let's go. Yes. Say hello, Zulian. Say hello, we're looking at you. Wave to us. That's better. <laughs> Frank, we're, we're glad you are feeling better. You look better. Thank you. Opportunity to serve is what we are called to do. Please rise if you are able and bow your head for the blessing. God, the author of life, Christ, the living cornerstone, and the life-giving spirit of adoption, bless you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Father's Day Memorial will be published this year, so if you have not already done so, in remembrance or in honor of, don't forget. If 
The peace of Christ makes fresh my heart A fountain ever springing All things are mine since I am His How can I keep from singing? No storm can shake my inmost calm But to that rock I'm clinging Since Christ is Lord of heaven and earth How can I keep from singing? Alleluia! Christ is risen! Christ is risen, Christ is risen indeed! Alleluia! Go in peace! Thanks be to God. Hallelujah.